So the other day, me and my brother were sitting on the couch watching television. He turned to me and asked me a question. It went something like, James, why is it that television shows always have a similar look? I can immediately tell if I'm watching a film or a television show when I turn on the TV. And so I thought about that question, and I was wondering what are the differences between television and film? Although I don't know all that much about television, I can tell you about some of the ways that picture for a film is created. I think we should start with the way that each format captures a picture. A film is captured and displayed at 24 frames per second in the US, while in Britain it's 25 frames per second. And television is captured and displayed at 30 frames per second. This is done for a couple of different reasons. There is a look that filmmakers have upheld for decades within their movies. This is of a motion blurred cinematic look that makes motion pictures more dramatic. The use of this frame rate was ditched for television in the 50s however, because it was decided that the frame rate for television should be 30 frames per second. This was because it corresponded well with the refresh rates of televisions, which was dependent on the electric current that the country used. The US used alternating current at 60 Hz, whereas Europe used 50 Hz. This is significant because motion picture produced a different look on a television screen. There was smoother motion which created less motion blur, meaning that there was a big difference to the way that the entire picture looked to the audience. These days we have big televisions that we can watch any kind of movie or television show on, but there's a huge difference. The way that filmmakers capture these images to emulate the already established cinematic look is a lot different to the way that regular televisions display an image. One of the big differences is the aspect ratio of television shows, which are usually always the same. Modern television shows have an aspect ratio of 16 by 9, which is the standard for any HD image. Whether that be HD, Full HD, or even Ultra HD. There is a huge classification between 4K and Ultra HD, which might confuse people. There's DCI 4K, which is 4096 by 2160, which is used for many film productions. And there is 3840 by 2160, which is used for television, which has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Films have a wider range of aspect ratios to use when creating their pictures. Making a film with a huge 2.76 to 1 aspect ratio, like Ben-Hur, will look completely different when watching something like Ellen on the same television. The cameras that are used in film and television are all very similar now too. Digital cameras have been trying to emulate the way that film looks for a very long time now. There are ways that this can be done such as maximising the resolution, adding a larger colour palette to the camera sensor, and also something called dynamic range. Now if you have a smartphone there's a chance that you've seen it as a HDR option. This stands for high dynamic range. What this does is it tries to take the details from two images that are exactly the same except one favours the darker parts and the other favours the lighter parts. These are then combined to maintain details in all parts of the image. This is how artificial high dynamic range is done. There are digital cameras that have what's known as high stops of dynamic range. These capture details within small margins of highlights and shadows without having to take two images and combine them together. This is something filmmakers have used to create an image without faults one that mimics our own eyes to fool us into thinking that what we are seeing has actually happened. Though this is used in television as well, it isn't utilised as much, with films having more saturation, contrast and a graded look. Digital film sometimes even has grain added to it, as if it were filmed on celluloid, to mimic the film look. There are so many other ways that we can compare film to television, but what I wanted to do was make something that I thought had been made for television as opposed to film, which is what you're watching right now. Personally, I like the creativity that comes with producing films, even though television does have a distinctive purpose. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, if you have then you can leave a rating to let me know. My name is James Hayes, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.